this class we work out five problems on temperature coefficient problem number one the filament of a 220 volt metal filament lamp is to be constructed from a wire having a dia 0.02 mm and resistivity at 20 degree centigrade of 5 micro ohm centimeter if temperature coefficient alpha is equal to 0.005 per degree centigrade, what length of element is necessary if the lamp is to dissipate 100 watts at a filament temperature of 2000 degree centigrade? That is a question. So in this question, the power dissipation is even 100 watts. Voltage is 220 volts. We know that power P is equal to V square by R. R is equal to V square by P, 220 square divided by 100, that is equal to 484 ohms. Resistance at 2000 degree centigrade is equal to 484. Resistance at 2000 degree centigrade is equal to resistance at 20 degree centigrade into 1 plus alpha into T2 minus T1. Alpha is equal to 0.005 per degree centigrade. T2 is 2000, T1 is equal to 20, substitute in the formula. Then find the resistance at 20 degree centigrade is equal to 484 divided by 10.9 that is equal to 44.40 ohms. Resistance at 2000 degree centigrade is equal to 484 ohms. Resistance at 20 degree centigrade is equal to 44.40 ohms. We have to find the length. Here the dia is given that is 0.02 mm. The resistivity is in 5 micro ohm centimeter. So I have to convert dia in centimeter. That is equal to 0.002 cm. Therefore, area is equal to pi d square by 4. Therefore, area is equal to pi into 0.002 the square divided by 4. That is equal to 3.14 into 10 power minus 6 cm square. Once I know the area, the resistance is 44.40. Resistivity is equal to 5 into 10 power minus 6. Therefore, R is equal to rho L by A. L is equal to R into A divided by rho. Substitute in the formula. L is equal to 27.88 centimeter. The required filament length is 27.88 centimeter to dissipate 100 watts. That is the answer. Problem number 2. Find the current flowing at the instant of switching on a 40 watt filament on to a 220 volts circuit if the filament temperature at normal operating condition is 2800 degree centigrade resistance temperature coefficient of the filament at room temperature of 20 degree centigrade is 0.005 per degree centigrade so we have to find current flowing at the instant of switching on in this problem power is given 40, voltage is given 220 volts, we can find resistance. R is equal to V square by P that is equal to 1210 ohms. The resistance at normal room temperature R20 we have to find. So resistance at 2800 degree centigrade is 1210 that is equal to resistance at 20 degree centigrade we have to find into 1 plus T2 2800 minus T120 into temperature coefficient 0.005 per degree centigrade. That is 0.005. That is equal. We can find R20. R resistance at 20 degree is equal to 81.21 ohms. Once I know the voltage and the resistance, I can find the current. Current flowing at the instant of switching on is equal to 2.70 amps. Problem number 3. A copper conductor has its specific resistance of 1.6 into 10 power minus 6 ohm centimeter at 0 degree centigrade and a resistance temperature coefficient of 39.3 into 10 power minus 4 per degree centigrade at 20 degree centigrade. Find number 1 specific resistance and 2 the resistance temperature coefficient at 80 degree centigrade. So the specific resistance rho is equal to at 80 degree centigrade is equal to rho naught into 1 plus alpha naught into 80 and the 80 degree is given that is 80 therefore rho naught is, is equal to 1.6 specific resistance is 1.6 into 10 power minus 6 ohm centimeter at 0 degree centigrade 
that is 1.6 into 10 power minus 6 into 1 plus alpha rand is given 39.3 into 10 power minus 4 into 80 that is equal to 2.10 into 10 power minus 6 ohm centimeter. So the specific resistance is 2.10 into 10 power minus 6 ohm centimeter. Next we have to find the resistance temperature coefficient that is temperature coefficient at 20 degree alpha naught alpha at 20 degree is equal to alpha naught divided by 1 plus alpha naught into 80. Here alpha naught is given alpha naught is equal to 39.3 into 10 power minus 4. Substitute in the formula alpha naught that is temperature coefficient at 20 degree centigrade is equal to 2.99 into 10 power minus 3 per degree centigrade. Problem number 4. The resistance temperature coefficient of copper wire is 0.004 and for carbon filament is 0.0003. How many ohms of carbon filament in series with the 80 ohm copper wire will make the total combined resistance invariant with the temperature because copper is positive temperature coefficient carbon is negative temperature coefficient let r is the required carbon filament resistance resistance of copper wire is equal to 80 1 is given 8 is given into 1 plus alpha naught into t2 minus t1 that is change in temperature let the t2 minus t1 is equal to t therefore copper resistance is equal to 80 into 1 plus alpha naught into t here the plus sign indicates a positive temperature coefficient the increase in copper wire resistance is 80 into 1 plus alpha naught into t minus 80 that is equal to 0.32 into t. Now we come to the carbon resistance. Carbon is a negative temperature coefficient. Therefore carbon resistance is equal to capital R that is required carbon filament resistance R into 1 minus alpha naught into t. Here the alpha naught is given 0.0003. The decrease in carbon wire resistance is R minus R into 1 minus 0.0003 into T that is equal to 0.0003 into R into T. If the total resistance of copper wire and carbon filament is to be remain constant, the increase of resistance of copper wire with the temperature must be compensated by the decrease of resistance of carbon filament. Now we can equate these two equations that is 0 0.32 T is equal to 0 0.0003 into R into T. T T cancel. R is equal to 1066.67 ohms. 1066.67 ohms of carbon filament to be connected in series with the 80 ohm copper wire may to make the total combined resistance invariant with the temperature. Problem number 5. Two conductors of one copper and the other of iron are connected in parallel. At 20 degree centigrade they carry equal currents. If the temperature is now rise to 180 degree centigrade, what is the proportion of the total current will each conductor carry? That is a question. The temperature of copper is equal to 0.0043 per degree centigrade at 20 degree centigrade. Iron is equal to 0.0063 per degree centigrade at 20 degree centigrade. At 20 degree centigrade, the currents carried by the two conductors are equal. Therefore, resistance of the copper wire is equal to capital R into 1 plus alpha naught that is 0.0043 into T2 minus T1 that is T2 is 180, T1 is equal to 20 that is 160. Therefore, resistance of copper is equal to 1.688 into R. Similarly, iron is equal to 2.0038 into R. The currents will be in the inverse proportion of resistance because I is equal to V by R. Now, I can find the current in the copper conductor is equal to 2.008 divided by 2.008 plus 1.668 that is equal to 2.008 divided by 3.696 that is equal to 0.543 of the total current. That means the current in the copper conductor is equal to 0.543 of the total current. That's the answer. 
with this i conclude my lecture thanks for listening